How's it great nines? Today we're going on to equations with fractions, but with a variable in the denominator. Okay, so we're dealing with slides 15 to 19 from the equations PowerPoint. Okay, so if we have a look at the first example, You can see that it looks very similar to yesterday's work. The only difference is now we have a variable here in the denominator, okay? And before I go on to solving this, what we need to do is we need to talk about restrictions for this type of thing when you've got the variable in the denominator. So I'm just going to do that on the side over here and we call it a restriction. And what I mean by a restriction is you know that we cannot divide by zero. That was in the very first video that we did when we started equations, okay? So we can't divide by zero. So in other words, our denominators cannot be zero. In other words, whatever x value we solve for, x cannot be equal to zero, okay? And that is how we write it up for the restriction. Because if I make x 0 here, I've got 10 divided by 0. That is undefined. We can't do that. Over here, if I made x 0, 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. But then we're dividing by 0. So it's 10 divided by 0. Again, that is undefined. So you must just write your restriction and just tell us that this denominator x cannot be equal to 0. Okay. Now that I've written my restriction, I can go through and solve this. So just like yesterday's lesson, we're going to find an LCD. And the lowest common denominator here, just remember that that's over secret one, is, let's have a look. We've got one here, x there, and x there. So the lowest thing that one x and x can go into is x. Okay, so that is our lowest common denominator. I'm going to take our LCD and multiply each term by our LCD. So I multiply this by x, multiply that by x, and then multiply this term by x. Okay, so 1 does not cancel into x, so we've just got here x times the top, which is 3. Here, this x will cancel with that x, and we're just left with plus 10 equals... This x will cancel with this x, and we are just left with 2x plus 5. Okay, so what we can do now, this is like from the other lesson that we had, we have to distribute that into the bracket, this 2. So I have to distribute, distribute, and likewise here, distribute that one. Okay, so x times 3 is 3x. That we can't do anything with, just plus 10 equals 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, remember your equals is a wall. We want x's on this side of the wall and numbers on that side of the wall. So he's happy. So I leave him there. We'll come back to him in a second because he's not happy. We want to do all the letters first. He's on that side, he's not happy. So I bring them to the other side, and it becomes a minus 2x equals, he's happy, leave him, not happy, take it to the other side, so we get minus 10. 3x minus 2x is x equals 10 minus 10 is 0. Okay, now I have to look at my restriction. x cannot be equal to this thing. Okay, so I have to say here that x cannot be equal to zero because of our restriction. Okay, so in other words, there is no solution for this equation. Okay, and we can just say it like this, ns, no solution. Okay, if we look at question B, I think I'll be able to fit it on here. Question B, x plus 7 over 3x minus 3 minus x over x equals 5 over 6. 
Okay, so I'm just going to list my restriction. Okay, so our restriction here is, again, if I make x zero, this would be divided by zero, which is a no-no. We can't have that. If I make x zero here, again, dividing by zero, we can't have that. So x cannot be equal to zero for whatever solution we get here. Okay, so that was our first thing. Now I'm going to find the LCD. So over here we have 3x, here we have x, and there we have 6. So now we've got a combination of variables and numbers. So I'm going to look at the numbers first. That's a secret one in the front there. So our numbers are 3, 1, and 6. So the lowest number that 3, 1, and 6 go into is 6. Then, this has an x and x, doesn't have an x, so we need the x. Okay, so our LCD is 6x. I'm going to multiply everything by our LCD. And we can look for things that will cancel now. So, x will cancel with an x. 3 will cancel with the 6 there, and we're left with 2 times the top, x plus 7. Bring down my negative x will cancel with that x 1 does not really cancel into the 6 so we're just left with 6 and it's multiplied with the top 6 will cancel with the 6 and we're left with x times the top which is 5. i'm now going to distribute that into there now be very careful here grade nines we need to distribute minus 6 into that bracket not just six okay so be very careful with your signs and then that x must be distributed in there so two times x is two x two times seven is 14 minus six times three is minus 18 minus six times minus x is plus six x because the negative times the negative gives you the positive equals x times 5 is 5x treat the equals like a wall we want x's on this side and we want numbers on that side so he's happy so that will stay 2x that's happy plus 6x not happy taken to that side it becomes minus 5x so we've done with the x's now equals so we have nothing on this side in terms of numbers because we've already taken that one to that side. So there's nothing there. So I'm just going to leave that blank. This one wants to go to that side. So it becomes a minus 14. That wants to go to that side. So it becomes a plus 18. So we've got x's to the one side, numbers to the other. 2x plus 6x is 8x. Minus 5x is 3x equals four, minus 14 plus 18 gives us 4. We want to get the x on its own. So this is saying 3 times x. The opposite of times is divide what I do to this side, do to this side. And we're left with x is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, let's have a look at our restriction. x cannot be equal to 0, but that's not 0. So this is a valid solution. Okay. Now, don't worry, great nines, that you're getting an answer as a fraction. That's perfectly fine. doesn't always have to be a full number. Okay, so there's our solution for that one. Going on to the next example. Which is question C. And we have x plus 2 over 2x minus 5 over 4 equals 4 minus 5x over 4x okay so i'm going to list my restriction first and because we've got the variable in the denominator, so x cannot be 0. Because if x is 0, this would be 0, that would be 0, and we cannot divide by 0. So x cannot be equal to 0. 
is our restriction. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at is our LCD. So let's look at the numbers first. We've got 2, 4, and 4. What is the lowest number that 2, 4, and 4 go into? It is 4. This one has an X, no X, X. We need an X. Okay. Multiply everything by our LCD. So multiply by 4X, multiply by 4X, and then multiply by 4X. Okay. X will cancel with the X. 2 will cancel with that 4, and we're left with 2. Multiply by the top. Bring down my negative. 4 will cancel with that 4, and we're just left with an X. Multiply by the top. Equals. X will cancel with the X. 4 will cancel with the 4, and we are just left with 4 minus 5X. And I'm just going to put a bracket around it, okay? Just to show that's the top. Now we're going to distribute the 2 into that bracket. And also, it's this whole thing, the minus x into there. There we're not really distributing anything. We are distributing a 1 in, but we don't have to really put that in. Okay. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 2 is plus 4. Minus x times 5 is minus 5x equals. That's just going to give us 4 minus 5x. Here's our wall. We want x's on this side and we want numbers on this side. So, happy, which is 2x. Come back to this one later, minus 5x. Move across. He's not happy. Bring him to the other side and he becomes a plus 5x. Equals. Look on this side now, he's happy, put him down. Now we go to this side, not happy, take him to the other side, becomes a minus 4. So 2x minus 5x gives us minus 3x, minus 3x plus 5x is 2x equals 4 minus 4 is 0. I need to get the x on its own, so this is saying 2 times x, opposite of times is divide. What I do to this side, I do to that side. Those to cancel, and we're left with x is equal to, now 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, now we need to look at our restriction. We've said that x cannot be equal to 0, but we've got that solution. So x cannot be equal to 0, so there is no solution. Okay, grade nines. So for homework, um, it's a worksheet and it will be uploaded to your Teams channel and uh, you can have a look at it there. Thank you. Great nice.